If you are selling your house and about to have professional real estate photography done, you need to prepare. 95% of buyers start their search online. So your first impression has to be terrific. How do you prepare your home for real estate photography? How do you prepare your home so that your listing photographs look beautiful and inviting to every buyer? That's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. I'm Sherri Ann Green with Coldwell Banker. Welcome to my YouTube channel that guides home sellers and home buyers in Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia. We're going to talk about the inside and the outside of preparing your house for professional real estate photographs. Let's start on the inside. Now you already know you have to clean, but if you'd like some tips on doing so, check the comments below and I will link to a video I did all about cleaning your house as you put it on the market and keep it on the market. I think you'll find some helpful tips there. But in this video, I really want to focus on the little nitty gritty things that you may not think about that can make a huge impact to all of the photographs and even the buyer's tours as they come into the house. The first thing I'm going to talk about is clutter and we all have it, whether it's stacks of bills, stacks of mail, lots of little toys or clothes we just didn't want to fold last night. But the truth is when your photographs are about to be taken, you have got to hide those things away. You can put them in a place that the photographer isn't going to photograph, maybe uh, a corner of the attic or a closet that won't be accessed as much or find a beautiful box or a beautiful basket and put them in there. But get rid of any of those stacks of papers or toys or cookbooks, anything that takes away from the level of interest in the home and the buyer seeing those features. In each bedroom, I want you to make the bed. And I know that sounds silly, but I've had sellers who've left the house and forgot to do it. So make sure you make your bed. And then what I want you to do is back up. I want you to stand at the front door to your bedroom and look at that bed and look underneath it. What a lot of buyers see is what's hiding under your bed. And it could be sweater boxes or it could be your holiday decorations, anything that you've got tucked under that bed. You may not realize until you back up and look at the bed that you can see those items and that will show in your photographs. So make sure if you are hiding anything under the beds that you move those at least for the day of the photography. Go to the other side of the bed, back up and do it on that side as well. A good real estate photographer is going to get the bedroom from multiple different angles. So make sure that underneath your bed is squeaky clean so that all of the photographs come out pristine. As you're making that bed, I want you to put your pillows on the bed upright, not lying flat, put them upright. And if you have shams, whether they're European or regular rectangle shams, put those out in front of your sleeping pillows and put a decorative pillow on as well. What I want to caution you against doing is to put your sleeping pillows under your duvet and pulling that duvet up. In a photograph, it will look like something is hiding under the bed, a sleeping person, and we don't want that to be it at all. Adding the pillows and the shams will elevate the height of the room in addition to making the bed look like one that came straight out of a beautiful hotel. As you go around the house, take down any controversial artwork, whether it is religious or political or sexual in nature, all of those things can be a distraction. The buyer may agree with your point of view on these pieces of art, but they are not there to look at your gallery. They're there to look at the home and the features of the home and to start to see themselves in that home. So take down anything that could be a conversation piece normally, because what you want the buyer to do is to look at the home and not your beautiful art. The same thing goes for a lot of family photographs. We all love our family and our pets and our children and we have them professionally photographed or we have a lot of casual framed photographs around. Again, a buyer can get caught up on looking at your life and how fun it is and forget to focus on the parts of the home that are going to be important to them and leave without making a proper assessment if this could be the right home for them. 
So take down a lot of the personal photographs that you have so the buyer can focus on the home. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and I want you to clean the countertops. If you leave a lot of things out on a day-to-day -day basis, hide them for the photographs. If you leave a trash can sitting out so that it's easy for everybody to find, put that away as well. Hide the doggy bowls and hide anything that is sitting out in the kitchen like cookbooks or utensils, anything that can cause, again, a distraction to the buyer. We want them to see the space and the beautiful countertops that you have and not your collection of kitchen items or kitchen utensils or the dog bowl or the trash can. And while we're at it, you probably already figured this out, put the dishes away. Yes, they can be tucked in the dishwasher. Most likely, photographer will not open the dishwasher and wanna take a picture of the inside. So you can put those morning dishes in that dishwasher and close the door. Let's take a step into the bathroom, shall we? Number one, take your wet towels that you used that morning, put them in your laundry basket, close the lid, and put out fresh towels. Do you want new towels to take to your new home? Now's a great time to get them. Get new towels and put those out on the rack and leave them up while buyers are touring as well. It will make the bathroom look really fresh. Hide all of your personal effects. We all have them. We all have personal grooming items and they're all over the bathroom, but hide them for the photo shoot. That includes things like the plunger, extra toilet paper, your personal grooming items, just put those away. Nobody wants to see them. I also want you to take up your bath mats. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but they're there to see the tile work and they're there to see the floor. So take up your bath mats and just tuck those in the cabinet in your bathroom. You can also do this in the kitchen. I forgot to mention it earlier, but take up any kitchen mats that you have too and just tuck those away for the day so that we can see the beautiful flooring. While you're in the bathroom, close the lid of the toilet. If you have any burned out light bulbs, make sure they get replaced. And before the photographer comes over, make sure that you turn on all the lights. I know this seems like something the photographer can probably do or your agent can probably do, but some people have hidden lights, whether it is under kitchen lighting or above cabinetry lighting, or maybe your lights are on a remote control or they change colors, whatever it may be, turn them all to the same hue if you do have color changing light bulbs. Make sure all of the light bulbs are of the same hue so you don't get orange over here and blue over here and replace any burned out light bulbs. And you want to turn every light on. That includes lamps, overhead lights, lights inside of closets, and the lights underneath your microwave if your microwave hovers over your range. Turn all the lights on. Buyers love light. Speaking of light, open all of your window treatments as wide as they can go you want as much of that natural light to come in as humanly possible if there are any large silk drapes that you can take down and live without having on your windows do that as well the buyer will want to see how much natural light they can see inside your home and if they have to try to move drapes or open shutters it can distract from their tour and they can get a false sense of how bright the home might be with their own furnishings. So open all of your window treatments before you leave the house, before the photographs are made. I've talked a lot about curb appeal in some other videos and I'll link to that in the comments, but here are some other last minute tips that I haven't really talked about in other videos that will be helpful strictly for your photographs and also helpful for days that you have open houses or even days you have buyer tours. So starting in the back, if you have an umbrella, open it. And I'm talking about a patio umbrella, an umbrella over your dining table outside, umbrellas by the pool, open those up. They look really cool when they are open in photographs. If you have a grill with a cover, a green egg with a cover, furniture outside with covers, take all the covers off, hide the covers away. If you keep your outdoor cushions 
in a shed outside or somewhere in the house, take those outdoor cushions out and put them where they go on your outdoor furniture. You don't want the photographer to have to look for these items. They may not know where to look and you want to make sure that they get on the right furniture and get in the right position before the photographer arrives. Put away any garden tools or things that you have done to clean up that yard. You want to make sure that you've put in some seasonal plantings and things that can really make the yard pop. So then after you're finished, just hide all those tools, hide your hoses, hide your rakes, anything that you've used to clean up the yard, put that away so we can focus on the landscaping that you've done. It's time to sweep. You need to sweep the porch, the sidewalks, your walkway, your driveway, back patio, rooftop deck, balcony. Sweep it off, vacuum it if you have to, just get rid of any debris that is hanging around on these concrete hardscape surfaces, you want to make sure that they are clean and tidy. Here's another great trick. Right before the photographer arrives, wet down your driveway or your sidewalk or the walkway up to your house. It not only makes your driveway clean, it adds an interesting level of depth to the photograph. And lastly, it's time to move the car. If you have cars parked in the driveway or parked in front of your house, you're going to want to move those out of view. Again, the buyer wants to see the home. You may have a fabulous car. Wait a minute, if you have a fabulous car, we're probably gonna leave it in the driveway because that could look really cool. But for the most part, we wanna move cars, move tricycles, move our motorcycles out of view of the house so we can see your beautiful home. If you are thinking of selling your house, you need to watch this video next. It's my 30 day guide to get your house ready to go to market. So this 30 day guide would be prior to everything we've talked about in the video today. Make sure you watch this one next and there's even a seller download included with the video so you have a guide to follow as you prep.